Welcome back. We are in step 29 of our Spring MVC course. In this step, we want to make use of the target date field. Until now, on the screen, we are only editing the description field of the to-do. So we would want to add in the target date field and to make use of a target date field, we would use something called an init binder. So we'll learn about these two things in this particular step. Okay, let's go in to our list to dos.jsp. Right now, if we look at the target date, the way it's displayed, uh, it's not really good. So I have the date displayed in this format. I would rather have just the date displayed in a simple format. How do we do that? What we'll make use of is a simple JSTL tag called format date. The format date accepts a pattern. So I want to show in date in this particular pattern, ddmmyyyyy. That's basically the format I want to show and the value which needs to be formatted is to do target date. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put it inside the TD. So instead of the target date, I'll put this in. So now I'm trying to use FMT. Before we use FMT, I have to tell what the FMT is. We have another tag library that we need to add. That's JSTL FMT. These are all the formatting tags. There are a lot of formatting tags which are present in JSTL. You really want to check them out. The JSTL formatting tags are useful to display, I mean, to format currency values, to format dates, to format even numbers in a specific format. So there are a lot of tags in this specific thing we are making use of formatting the date. So I want to format the target date in this particular format and that's what I'm trying to do in here. Again, the snippet is already in the useful snippets. So you can see the couple of snippets in here which you can use. So let's refresh the page and there you go. The target date is much, much better formatted right now. It looks really much better than what it was earlier. So now we have the target date format formatted. Now let's see what's involved in adding the target date to todo.jsp. Put the target date in here. So I'll copy the entire field set and change description to target date. So let's start from here. So target date, target date, target date. I'm typing it in, but the best simplest thing would have been to copy it in. So now let's see what would happen. Let's refresh the page and I'll click update. You see already something good happening that the target date is already displayed. As soon as I added the target date in, the target date is now displayed. But there will be something funny happening when submit is clicked. Yeah. When I click submit, what the target date field is telling me is it's able to convert, it's unable to convert it to a proper format. The beautiful thing about Spring MVC is the fact that this particular error in converting from string to date, it's handling so beautifully and it's showing it as a validation error. Imagine doing this earlier in struts or any other framework i mean i can't think what would have happened it would have probably blown up throwing an exception and you would be going to an error page when there is a simple validation error on a particular field and this is really beautiful handling and it's clearly saying what the error is so now i would want to handle this error so before that what we would try and do is we would want to use the date format also in here so we want to format the date in a specific format. Now, I would need to tell Spring Framework that. I can keep telling how to format the date in every place. So I can go in and use the format in here, or I can have a standard format across the entire controller, or even I can have a standard format across the application. How do we do that with Spring? We use something called init binders. Let's see how we can use init binders in the login controller. Sorry, actually it's the to-do controller. So let's go to the to-do controller and we would now need to tell this controller that you always use this date format. Whenever you're showing something on the screen or whenever some binding is happening, use this date format. How do we tell that? That's the init binder. We need to create a simple method, protected, and we need to pass in web data binder. So we need to tell the controller that this is our init binder method. So how do we tell that? That's basically by using a init binder annotation. So now this particular piece of binding would be invoked 
before the start of any this any controller method in this particular thing. Now we want to tell this binder to use the date format that we would want to specify. I'll start off by creating a simple date format. Let's import this in. I've imported the simple date format. I want to use the same format that we used earlier, ddmmyyyy. So that's the format which we are going to use. And now we would need to set this into the init binder. So binder dot register custom editor for which class we want to do it for the date class. So the date dot class and what is the format that I would want to use? There's something called a new custom date editor to which I can pass in the date format I would need to use. And the second thing is to is to say if it, uh, empty is a valid value. I'll put it at false. That's it. So now we have our init binder set up. Creating an init binder is very, very, very simple. Actually, all that I did is created a date format and I registered a custom editor for the date class and I used the date format in here. It's as simple as that. So now I have the init binder registered. Let's go ahead, refresh the page first. Let's, yeah, now this is picked. You can already see that the target date is displayed in the right format. That's perfect. And now I would say 14 and click sub. Now you see that the to-do is updated properly. So we are now able to update the target dates as well. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28 Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.